God, we have been blessed. We have been blessed, you know, um, at Saturday Bible School. Shall we bless the Lord? Hallelujah. And you know, these are my not notices. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? You know, I am just going to ask everyone to stand as we are going to sing. You know, um, I have mentioned this song in the, the announcement where, you know, you have rescued my life. Who knows that song? Who knows that song? Listen, you know, God is so good. You know, if we should talk about our past and where God, you know, has carried us. We have, we have to declare it. It's only God that has rescued our life. And so let us just sing and give God thanks. As the Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the unto the Lord. So today we are going to give him thanks in everything, in the things that we, 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 we don't understand, in the things that we understand. We are going to give him all the praise because he deserves it. He deserves it. Hallelujah. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'll never go You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I never go in back. Come on, sing it like you mean it. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I never. Hallelujah, you're my redeemer, hallelujah, my response is hallelujah. Hallelujah, 
my responses. Hallelujah, you're my redeemer. Hallelujah, you have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'll never go in back. Hallelujah. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'll never go in back. Hallelujah. My response. Jesus, hallelujah, you're my redeemer, hallelujah, my response is hallelujah, you're Can we just sing hallelujah, our God reigns one more time? Can we just sing that song one more time and believe that God reigns? There is something, there is something. Let us pull on the Lord. Let us pull on the Lord. He reigns. He reigns in the heaven. He reigns on earth. He reigns. He reigns. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God reigns. Hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns. Hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God reigns. Hallelujah, hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns. Hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. He's the God that reigns yesterday, today, and forevermore. He reigns. Hallelujah. And at this time, as the word of God says that, you know, we should feed on the word. The word is the bread. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, you know, see, we see where the devil tempted, you know, the Lord. And Jesus used the word and, and remind him that, you know, um, you know, we should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. And so this time, say the word. The word. The word. I'm just going to ask you to be seated. You know, take out your knives, your forks, and you know, the, the, proper, the proper English. <laughs> dining. You are going to dine. Hallelujah. And, um, you know, at this time. We are going to dwell in the word as the word of the Lord says. I will hide the word in my heart so I will not sin against the Lord. And at this time, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Are we sure that we are ready for the word? 
Are you ready for the word? Oh, no, no, look ready. Oh, no, sure, I'm ready for the word. All right, so I'm just going to ask you, you know, to stand. Yes. All right, just put away the knives and the fork. And, you know, just stand. Give us the English stand. <laughs> and at this time, we are going to welcome, you know, the first speaker with the exhortation. Let us give it up for the powerful woman of God, Sister Marisol. Let's welcome Sister Marisol. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, lift up holy hands and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, worship your maker and say hallelujah. hallelujah. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. I want to say good afternoon. You may be seated. I want to say good afternoon to each and everyone. Good afternoon to those of you joining online. It's always a pleasure having you guys here at a Miracle Thursday Fasting. Amen? Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We exalt you in this place. We tell you thanks for who you are, my God. Father, I pray that as the word go forth, Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that it will minister to the hearts of your people. Father, I pray, my God, that I will decrease so that you will increase. Uh, I pray, my God Almighty, as we are focusing on uh, the August anointing for this month, uh, I pray, my God Almighty, that your anointing will fill this place. Uh, Le branda catal my God Almighty, I pray that you will move over the lives of your people. Father, I pray, my God Almighty, that you will remove every distraction. You will remove, my God Almighty, everything that will walk the world from going forth. My God Almighty, we break, paralyze, and we cripple, my God Almighty, every principality, everything that will want to stop, my God, this fasting from going forth, my God. Almighty, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that any prince of Persia that would want to stop in the truck, Le Banda Katala Branda Gabazo, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. That every prince of Persia be destroyed by fire, my God Almighty. I pray, my God, that no prince of Persia will block no understanding. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that no prince of Persia, my God Almighty, will cause your people not to receive the word. Le branda katala branda gabazo, my God Almighty, rain down in this place. Let your glory fill this place. Let let your anointing fill this place. Father, move over those online. Move over those, my God Almighty, in the sanctuary. Wherever persons are tuning in from. Wherever persons are joining from. Father, I pray, my God Almighty, that you will move over, over our hearts as the word come forth, my God. Le brande kete le brada gabazo manda kata. Jibrando kotolo branda gabaze, Father, my God Almighty, move over your word. Let your word come forth, my God, with ease. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Bless you. So, for the month of August, we are focusing on the August anointing. And the subtopic that I am going to be exhorting on just for 20 minutes, it's, the title is The Anointing That Shifts a Nation. Or if you want it this way, The Anointing That Breaks Strongholds from a Nation. Somebody said The Anointing. I love that. All right, please stand and we're going to read the book of Isaiah. So that's Isaiah 10. And we'll start from verse 1. If you have found it, please stand. And we're going to, yeah, I'm going to go through a few verses. Amen, you have found it? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. 
to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And what will you do in the day of visitation? And in the desolation which shall come from far, to whom will ye flee for help, and where will ye leave your glory? Without me they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. I will send him against an hypocr hypocritical nation, and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil, and to take the prey, and to tread them down like the marrow of the streets. Howbeit he meaneth not so, neither doth his heart think so, but it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. For he, for he saith, are not my princes altogether kings? Is not Kalno as Karimesh? Is not Hamath as Arpad? Is not Samaria as Damascus? As my hand hath found the kingdoms of the idols, and whose graven images did excel them of Jerusalem and of Samaria, shall I not, as, of, as I have done unto Samaria and her idols, so, so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Verse 12. Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his high looks. And we're going to jump down just for time to verse 27, which is going to be the main point. And it shall come to pass in that day. That his burden shall be taken away from thy shoulder and his yoke from thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Somebody said the anointing. My God, you may be seated. So in the book of Isaiah 10, we see that the Lord was not pleased. He said, woe to those who make unjust laws, oppressive decrees. Woe means suffer or intense yeah, it means suffer, sorrow, or intense suffering. In verse 10, we see that God will punish As the Assyrian king. Why? Because of the willful pride of his heart. They brought oppression upon the Israelites. They didn't treat the poor good. In verse 20, the prophecy declares that a remnant of Israel will return. Somebody say a remnant. A remnant. Let us let me just read verse 20 to 21 for context. Verse 20 said, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but they shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth. Verse 21 says, The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty. To God, amen. So, in verse verse 20, my God, it shows that there was a remnant that will be left after the Assyrian invaded and desolated the land. It continues to say that they shall no more again rely on those who smote them. And th this is talking about the Assyrian's kings, the one who put them under oppression. But this means, if it is that it's saying that they shall no more again rely on those who smote them, it means that their hearts will now be changed. Because we read further and it says that they will no rely on God. Amen. We read further where the scripture says in verse 27 that in that day his burden will depart from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and it will be broken because of the anointing. So just for summary, basically the Assyrian power that brought oppression was broken off Israel because of the anointing. Amen. If you're with me, say you're with me. Amen. So as I said earlier, the Assyrian power 
it brought oppression. They were relying, my God Almighty, on the Assyrian king, my God Almighty. They were relying on the Assyrian king. The Assyrian king, the Bible said, my God Almighty, that he had a prideful heart. They were wicked, my God Almighty. Le Brandagabazo, my God Almighty, the Assyrian power, it was ruling, my God Almighty. But I come today in this fasting service to tell you that whatever Assyrian power that is causing oppression in your life, Le Brandagabazo, whatever, my God Almighty, Assyrian power that is causing you to be in a place, my God Almighty, of depression, whatever Assyrian power is causing you, my God Almighty, to shift your focus from God to the problem. I come to remind you, my God Almighty, that there is a God that is looking for a remnant. Le Brandagabazo, my God Almighty, the scripture declares that there will be a remnant that is left after the Assyrians, my God Almighty, destroy the land, my God. The scripture says that this remnant, they will be after God's heart. They will trust in God. They will rely on God, my God Almighty. I come to encourage someone, my God Almighty, who has been allowing Assyrian powers to shift your focus from God, my God Almighty. Those who are allowing, my God, Assyrian powers, my God Almighty, to allow your community, my God Almighty, to be in a place of oppression, to be in a place, my God, of depression. I come to shift your focus and to encourage you, my God Almighty, that even in a place, my God, where there is turmoil, you should rely on God. There is a God that is fighting on your behalf. Somebody said the anointing. The anointing, my God Almighty, will break every yoke that the Assyrian power has over Maxfield Avenue. I said the anointing will break every Assyrian power that is over your life, that is over your family's life, wherever you're joining from, whatever your nation is, I come to declare to you, my God Almighty, that there is an anointing that breaks strongholds my God from a nation I said the Assyrian power that brought oppression my God almighty to the people the Bible said that it was broken of the Israelites because of the anointing this means that there is an, there is an anointing that breaks strongholds of a nation what is the nation it could be Jamaican. Man, they can tell you, brother, Gabazo, what kind of power is ruling over the nation that is causing, my God, the people to turn to witchcraft? What is causing, my God Almighty, the people of the nation of Jamaica to be turned into Obia man, Obia woman? What Assyrian power is causing the nation, my God Almighty, of Jamaica to be indulged in criminal? activities. I want you to know as a blood washed Christian, there is anointing. There is an anointing that breaks the strongholds. There is an anointing that breaks the strongholds of nations. We see it, my God Almighty, in the book that we have just read in Isaiah 10, that the anointing broke up the oppression of the Israelites. Somebody said the anointing. There is an anointing. My God Almighty, I know that we know of the anointing that we save is for ministry. And we know of the anointing, Lord God Almighty. We know of the anointing where we heal the sick. But I come to remind somebody that there is still such an anointing that breaks strongholds of nation. Lest you forget, lest you be caught up. There is an anointing. There are some strongholds. There are some bandages. There are some yokes in the nation of Jamaica wherever you are. Whether China, wherever you are. You are anointed. There is an anointing that you can get. There is an anointing that you can seek for. That can break the yoke of bandages. My God Almighty. 
We cannot speak of the anointing and not speak of the word of God. It is the word of God that will keep you from submitting to the powers of oppression. From submitting, my God Almighty, to the powers of depression. You will need the word of God. You will need to follow God's principles. You will need to sacrifice time in, in God's presence. The anointing, the anointing has to be sustained. Sustained and the word sustains it. Somebody says, sustain the anointing. Man de ketele brother gabazo. Somebody says, sustain the anointing. So we say one way in which we can sustain the anointing is by being anchored in the word of God. Let the word fuel the anointing to break strongholds over your community, over Jamaica, over Japan, over China, over US. Do you want to see a change? I said there is an anointing that can break my God Almighty the strongholds of the nation. There is an anointing if you want to see a change there is an anointing but lest you forget the anointing it needs to be sustained we need the word of God to sustain the anointing on Sunday pastor shared and he said that in Luke 4 and we can see it in verse 18 to 21 it shows that the source of for the validation of the anointing that Jesus walked in Jesus declared the word and that was the declaration of the anointing so we need the word of God to sustain us we need the word of God to fuel the anointing because the anointing my God Almighty it can be contaminated so so you have to know, you have to come to terms that though you have this anointing, though you are seeking after this anointing, you need to sustain it. And one way to sustain it is through the word of God. You need the word of God, whatever angle you take it, because watch this now. You need the anointing. Another way to sustain the anointing, rather, is consecration. You can't sustain the anointing by living in sin. Sin, my God Almighty will affect the anointing it pollutes the anointing but again but again in order for you to stay consecrated the word of God it needs to be dwelling in your richly you still need the word of God so whatever angle you take it you still need the word you still need the word to fuel the anointing somebody said the word my God Almighty, you need the word. You need the word. My God Almighty, you have to be consecrated. You have to stay on the path of consecration. My God Almighty, you need the word. Like in Colossians 3 verse 8. But now you must put away all anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene tongue from your mouth verse 8 but now is the time to get rid of anger rage malicious behavior slander and dirty language you need that word in your heart my God Almighty to back you up my God Almighty when you think about my God say you're gonna malice your family you remember the word of God you allow the word to circumcise you you allow the word of God to caught you and when the word is in you when the word is in you my god almighty you remember that god is not my god almighty a god who wants you to walk and have a spirit a malice my god almighty he doesn't want you my god almighty to have a dirty language or have malicious behavior so when you have the word when you read the word when you eat up the scroll and these scriptures are in you it stops you in your truck it stops you in your in your truck it convicts you it allows you to stay in alignment with God you need the word like in Ephesians 5 verse 3 to 5 but 6 
all immorality and all impurity or covetousness must not even be named among you as is proper among saints, my God. Let there be no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude in joking, which are out of place, but instead let there be thanksgiving. My God Almighty, when I read scriptures like this, my God Almighty, it change your mind, it change your appetite, it change your mindset, it make you all repent. My God Almighty, the other day, I was at home, my God, and I was, I, I could feel like I was about to get frustrated. Everything was just going wrong. And then I remember the scripture that says, something like anger does not produce the righteousness of God Lord God Almighty when you book upon them scripture there you come like say you know but I was angry when you have the fear my God Almighty when you have the fear of God in you and you read those scriptures my God Almighty and when we did angry about again my God Lebron Nagamazo the scripture it allows you to step back step back and another analyze another Analyze, my God, yes, that word, it allows you to step back and analyze, like God Almighty, yourself. So yes, we know we are human beings, but let me tell you something, when the word is in you, when you eat up that scroll, listen to me, when you feel like, Lord God Almighty, that you are about to keep malice, I you remember Colossians, you said, no man, but God is not of this, if I am a child of God, if I love God, Lord God Almighty, if I fear God, I can't indulge in this. And you begin to reason. My God Almighty, Libra Nagabazo, I speak into somebody who run to something else when they are upset. I am speaking to somebody that runs to something else temporary. My God Almighty, I am telling you, when you remember these scriptures, when you run to the word, it make you run. It make you reason it out. It make you it put you back into place. And when you reason it out, you start saying, God, you know what? You better me talk to you about this. You know? God, me not tell you no lie. Me feel upset about X, Y, and Z. Lord God Almighty. And you begin to release it to God. You don't release it in the bar, my God Almighty. You don't release it, my God, through weed. Libra, Nagamazo. You release it to God. The scripture is important. The word is important, my God, to maintain the anointing. You need to sustain the anointing. Somebody say sustain. Sustain. Samson's anointing was corrupted, my God Almighty. How do we know that Samson was even anointed in Judges 13 verse 5 it says for behold you shall conceive and give birth to a son and no razor shall come upon his head for the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb and he shall begin to deliver Israel from the hands of the Philistine so we see that Samson was anointed to deliver Israel my God Almighty but Samson, my God, my God, Samson did not maintain or sustain the anointing because my God Almighty, Samson, see a girl, my God Almighty, a Philistine where I'm not even supposed to, you know, I talk to, let me find the scripture. Yes, it really started when he fell in love with a Philistine woman. God told him, no, do not marry people of other nations like the Philistine. But Samson said, sure, my God, me need to feed my flesh, quote unquote. Me need to feed my flesh. But it, it got Samson in a hands It got Samson, my God Almighty, in problems. My God Almighty. The scripture says that when he was with Delilah, my God, Delilah pissed him. Le brother Gabazo, Delilah pre I 
trying to find what the scripture give me. I mean, yes. So Delilah, Delilah pissed him, pissed him so much that he began talking, talking things, my God Almighty, that he wasn't supposed to say out loud. And Samson's anointing, my God Almighty, it was affected. Yes, in Judges 16, verse 16, it says that Delilah pestered him daily with her words and pressed him so that his soul was vexed to death. My God, I can imagine. When he was beat down and worn out, he told her all his heart and said to her, No razor has ever come upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave me and I shall become weak and be like any other man. So his power was not in his ear, but in his consecration to the Lord. My God Almighty. His power was not in his ear per se, but in the consecration to the Lord. The commitment that he made. Samson did not sustain the anointing. And we see it where he was disobedient at first because God said, no marry, no Philistine, no marry my God people of other nations. And he still went ahead and did it. So we should sustain the anointing. We should use the word of God to fuel our anointing. The word, my God Almighty, Le Brandagabazo, is able to keep you from falling. The word of God, my God Almighty, is able to transform your life. There is, there is an anointing. There is an anointing that breaks strongholds from the nation. But you have to understand that you need to get, that you need to sustain this anointing. You have to sustain this anointing. Man de ketele bradagabazo, you have to sustain this anointing. Adabagozo bradagabazo, unless you forget. My God, there is an anointing. My God. There is an anointing that we need to seek for. My God Almighty concerning this nation. My God, the scripture says the anointing broke. My God Almighty, the yoke that the Assyrian power caused on the Israelites. The oppression, the depression. My God Almighty, I want you to know that there is an anointing that can break bondage from Jamaica. From China, from Europe, are we seeking after the anointing? My God Almighty, Le Brandagabazo, are we seeking after the anointing that is able to bring a change to your community, that is able to bring a change to Maxfield Avenue? Are we seeking after an anointing that can break the struggles in the ghetto? Are we seeking? After the anointed, my God Almighty, that can cause my God Almighty, the sick, to be healed on the streets. Are we seeking after an anointed, my God Almighty, that, I, that can break my God's spells and witchcraft powers and altars that were set up against your community, against your country. My God Almighty, are we seeking after an anointing? My God Almighty, that can break every expiration yet that was set up. My God Almighty, I come to somebody. I come, my God Almighty, to convict somebody where God has placed a community, a nation. My God Almighty, on your heart, Lebron Nagabazo, him not just place it on your heart because him idle or him not have nothing to do. But he knows, my God Almighty, that there is a we that that nation and that community can be broken free. They can experience by empirism. But there is an anointing. There is an anointing. My God Almighty, that God is getting ready to pour upon you an anointing that 
breaks every Assyrian power, man they get tired and anointing that breaks every oppression and depression. My God Almighty, I see my God Almighty where there is like there is a spell concerning my God Almighty, a community, and it's as if there is a gate. Let Brandon as you enter through that gate, it's like no can come out of the community. You start something, I have to stop. My God Almighty, I come, Jesus. My God, I come to tell you that there is an anointing. There is an anointing that is going to come upon you. La brother, la there is an anointing that is going to come upon you. As of the anointing, it will bring power. The anointing will bring strategies. How you can take that community out of bondage. As of that anointing, my God Almighty, if you truly see God if you stay in the word if you stay anchored in the word of God there is anointing that is coming upon you my God when you see me lock down my laptop, I don't, me don't know. But, my God Almighty, I feel this thing. I say, as I meditated on this scripture, me always read the scripture, but me never meds it that way. So there is actually an anointing, my God Almighty, that can break bandages and yokes concerning a nation. So when you want a change, Lord God Almighty, when you want a change, when you want want a change in your community when you want a change in Jamaica I say you better go on your knees let brother you better go on your knees stay in the presence of God and let him download strategies let him download strategy. My God Almighty. I see God downloading my God Almighty. Some ideas. Some way. I see like a rope. And you're pulling my God Almighty. Lord God Almighty. You're pulling. My God is like there's a pit. My God Almighty. And you're pulling. My God Almighty. People out of the pit. I said there is an anointing. We are just not a Christian. To come at church. To see sit down and look pretty there is a work to do Jesus said my father is always working and so will I my God almighty I said there is work there is work there is work to be done in Maxfield Avenue there is work to be done my God almighty in Mona there is work my God almighty to be done my God almighty the scripture says in Isaiah 10 that a remnant a remnant my God Almighty will remain and this remnant they will rely on God my God Almighty they will no longer they will no longer they will no longer rely on the Assyrian king my God Almighty they will no longer rely my God, on the Assyrian king that polluted their minds, that polluted their spirit, that downloaded a seed of oppression in them. I want you to know that whatever Assyrian power that wants to take control over your mind, over your family, my God Almighty, whatever Assyrian power, my God Almighty, that wants to destroy your marriage, destroy Destroy your womb. Destroy your womb. I come to tell you to stay connected to God. Don't submit. Don't submit to the Assyrian power. But submit to God. God is still looking for a remnant. My God Almighty. He's still looking for a remnant that will trust him. That will put my God Almighty. Their 
I trusted him, my God Almighty God is getting ready to repay, to recompense. Jehovah Gimola is coming to repay, my God Almighty, all that the palmer worms and the conquer worms had eaten up out of that community, out of that nation. God is saying, I am still in need of a remnant, a remnant that will pray, my God Almighty, even when things are not going well, I want a remnant that still seek after me. My God Almighty, the scripture says, there will be a remnant that return, return my God Almighty. It means they will come with a change of heart. They will be repentant. My God Almighty, I pray that God will can still find a remnant, my God Almighty, that is repentant. A remnant, my God Almighty that seek after him, a remnant that trust him, my God Almighty, I feel a weight le brother Gabazo a weight of confusion depression over the minds of you of you as I am here, but my God I pray that that will be broken, I said there is an anointing, there is an anointing that destroy bondage that destroy my God cycles, cycles of depression cycles my God Almighty, where you no longer, my God, have a sound mind. It's like you can't make sound judgments anymore. You feel like you're tired. You have submitted to Assyrian powers. You have been submitted, my God Almighty, to what the work of the enemy is doing in you. My God, there is a sobering presence of God. Le Bran Lagabazo, my God Almighty. My God Almighty, Jesus, my God. There is a sobering spirit. Begin to talk to God. My God Almighty, begin to repent and say, God, I have submitted. I have been relying on the powers of the Assyrians. I have been allowing my God them to keep me in bondage. My God Almighty, because I feel so alone. I feel like you are not here. Come on, begin to be honest with God. My God Almighty, ask God, ask God, my God Almighty, to give you grace. Grace, my God Almighty, to continue the race. Grace, my God Almighty, my God, my God Almighty, I come against every seed, every seed, every cloud, my God, every dark cloud that is over you that is causing you not to think straight every dark cloud that is over you that is causing you to be in a cycle of sadness I pray my God Almighty that that cloud will be destroyed by fire it will be destroyed by the lightning of God I pray my God every dark cloud around your bank account every dark cloud around your family around your community my God almighty that is downloading stagnancy I curse that dark cloud in the mighty name of Jesus and father my God I pray that you will give grace, grace to your people I pray my God that they will not give up I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the God who keep Israel will keep L-O-T-G-I the God who keep Israel will keep those online. The God who keep Israel will keep this nation. My God Almighty. And I pray that just as how the anointing, my God, it broke the powers from the Assyrians, my God Almighty. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the anointing will begin to shed. The anointing will begin to destroy the I feel and I see glass shattering. My God Almighty, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every glass right now 
be shut on my god every foundation all curse be shut on even now my god almighty every unfamiliar spirit be shut on even now every unfamiliar spirit every spirit that is attached to you my god almighty every spirit that is attached to you my god almighty let it be burned by fire my god almighty my god spirit that visit you my god at night time my god almighty you see all you see cat you see bear things at night time my god almighty i said there is an anointing man i said there is an anointing jesus my god almighty i said there is there is there, there is my God, my God Almighty, there is an anointing that destroys every unfamiliar spirit. There is an anointing, my God Almighty, Lord God Almighty, my God, everything that is tying your foot, my God Almighty, Lord God, everything that is tying your foot. There is an anointing that can break it. My God Almighty, there is an anointing that can cause a change. My God Almighty, there is an anointing. Sister Sharon, my God Almighty, there is my God Almighty. There is my God. Oh, yeah, 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 Sister Sharon. I hear a weeping, 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 weeping. May endure for a night, but John, my God, Sister Sharon, I said. Joy is coming back. Joy is coming back. Joy is coming back. The enemy took joy, but it is coming back. My God Almighty, Le Brother Gabazo, it's coming back to your family. It's coming back to your family. My God Almighty, as it chains, Lord God Almighty, Le Brother Gabazo, Lord God, as it chains, my God Almighty. There is an anointing that is going to come upon you when you pray. My God, there is an anointing that is going to come upon you when you pray. When this power comes upon you, my God Almighty, I see you tearing down. I see you tearing down. I see you tearing down. Even altars. I see you, my God, walking from to and fro. Lebra catalabro, zekiti libra, mande kete lebra ko, zebra catale, mando kotule, mande kete lebra so. My God Almighty, Lord God Almighty, there is a prayer in you. There is a prayer in you. I feel a prayer in you. My God Almighty, there is a prayer that you need to pray. My God Almighty, concerning your family. My God Almighty, you are the one that was chosen to break bondage, to break yokes from your family, my God. My God, Lada, Je Branda Gabazo. My God, there is a birthing. There is a birthing. There is a birthing. God is going to change your name. Every time, my God, in the Bible, when God changed somebody's name, my God Almighty, Saul to Paul, my God Almighty, there is an elevation that is coming. My God Almighty, Le Branda Gabazo. There is an elevation that is coming to you. My God Almighty, Sister Sharon will not 
be deceived anymore. My God Almighty, God is doing a work of sanctification in you. My God Almighty, I see him digging up. I see him digging up, digging up seeds, uprooting seeds. That is my God Almighty, causing you not to grow, causing you, my God, I see a deficiency, a deficiency of growth and God. My God Almighty, all right, Prof. There is an anointing, my God Almighty. Le brother Nagabazo, she brother Nagabazo. There is anointing that is going to flow through you, my God Almighty. This anointing is going to break sickness as I you're going to be healthy. And I hear God says, My God, I need three more years. Lakata, bro. Mandakata. I need three more years to your life. Adding three more years to your life, my God Almighty, whose report will you believe? My God Almighty, believe the report of the Lord as a prescription coming up before me, my God Almighty. But I come to tell you that there is a God by the name of Jehovah Rapha, the same God, my God Almighty, that has been delivering you, is the same God that can heal you. And Jehovah Rapha is going to be manifested in your life. I see you testifying, my God Almighty. My God, I say every morning, I say every morning that is supposed to locate you. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, my God Almighty. I declare that every morning, every morning that should locate you, I pray, my God, that the path will be straight. My God Almighty, acceleration. Jibakatala brokoto acceleration is coming upon you. Acceleration is coming upon you. Acceleration is coming upon you. What has been hard will become easy. I said there is an anointing. Sister Niger, there's an anointing. Sister Nigel, there's an anointing that is coming upon you. Libra Kata, Jebra Nagabazo, there is an anointing out of your belly. Manekete, out of your belly shall flow prophecies upon prophecies. My God Almighty, out of your belly, my God Almighty, shall flow, shall flow, shall flow, shall flow. I say you will not go under. I say every grave. I say every grave. Every grave where dig. I wait upon you. If you go under. I cry. I say I see a dead yard. I see a dead yard. I need to wait on Sister Nigel. But in the name of Jesus, I come under the authority of God. And I declare my God Almighty that whatever death angel, whatever death angel that is assigned to Sister Nigel, I pray my God that every death angel be canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. My God Almighty, the anointing. Jibakata la brokoto, li kata brokoto, li banda kata le bra. The anointing, the anointing. There is an anointing coming up on your head, my God Almighty. I pull off every migraine. I pull off. I pull. Lord God, I said I pull off. I, 
Jesus. Jesus. My God Almighty. I said, Nigel, you are powerful. I said, you are powerful. Lord God Almighty. I said, I want you to use the word of God. When them come knock and knock in your ears, you better draw, Lord God. You better draw for the word, you know. You better draw for the word, you know. I you better tell them that I am a holy nation. My God Almighty. You better tell them I am a daughter of the most high God. My God knew me from I was in my mother's wound. I am anointed and I am appointed. Everything, my God. Le catalo brocoto. My God Almighty, everything, my God Almighty, that wants to cause your Christian life, my God Almighty, to be stagnant, whatever wants to cause your Christian life, my God, to feel like it is not worthwhile. I see, my God, a cycle, I see a cycle of depression, of sadness, a cycle of Michiabada that is broken, my God, today. I pray that as of this day, as of this day, as of this fasting service, your life will never be the same. My God Almighty, I said boldness is coming upon you. Boldness is coming upon you. You're not shy. I said you're not shy. Let brother I said my God Almighty, boldness is coming upon you. It's 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 coming upon you. Every anxiety, it leaves you. Every anxiety, it leaves you now. It leaves you now. Everything in the mind, my God Almighty, everything in the mind that wants you to go insane, that doesn't want you to have soundness of mind, I come against that. Every mind by its spirit, I come against it. In the mighty name of Jesus, every nonchalant, 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 nonchalant spirit, we rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. May you feel the love of a father and I hear come on the sonship more there is something on pastor Dean my God almighty that is going to flow in your life you think he might push off you know you think he might push off you know my God almighty there is an anointing there my God almighty there is a grace that is flowing to your life stay connected stay connected stay connected my God everybody Everybody stand and begin to pray. Begin to pray. My God Almighty. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. And ask God. My God to anoint you. Ask God to anoint you. My God Almighty. Come on. Open up your mouths. All over this room. If you're online. Just begin to open your mouth. There is an anointing for nations. There is an anointing that what the nation is experiencing, that God will deliver them from the oppression, from the limits, from the bondages, from the yokes, from the, from the, the presence of poverty and lack, from disaster, from mayhem, from murder, from every assignment of the enemy. We are called to stand in the gap. We are called as a people that will build up the edge. We are called as a people to intercede and so that we are able to pray the mind of God and the will of God on the earth. As I said this morning in morning prayer that the oil is for work. The oil is for an assignment and as we are in this August anointing, you're anointing, you're not receiving an anointing for nothing. You are not receiving oil for nothing. You are receiving oil so that you can do the work of him that sent you while it is dear. As you're online and you're standing in the 
the sanctuary. Thank God right now for the poor, the poor of his oil, the poor of his anointing. The anointing brings an enablement. The anointing brings power. And as that is being released over your life, we are interceding for the nation of Jamaica. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your oil that brings your presence and your power and your delivering virtue. I pray that this afternoon in the name of Jesus, that as you release it, mighty God, that we will stand. We will stand and declare the word of the Lord. We will stand and declare, my God, your power in a perverse nation. Perverse nation. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that God, you will use us in our communities you will use us in our, our territories where we abide mighty God my God you will use us mighty God as signs and wonders you will use us mighty God so that your word can be exalted and your word can be demonstrated in communities father we put this very nation before you you said in your word that it is the anointing that breaks the yoke whatever yoke over the nation of Jamaica my God almighty the the yoke of crime, the yoke of murder, the yoke of injustice, my God, the yoke of witchcraft, the yoke of sexual immorality. I pray that this afternoon in the name of Jesus, that your anointing will move through regions and territories, that you will anoint people to go, you will anoint people to stand and declare your word, you will anoint people to stand in the gap for those that are perishing, those that are sick, those that are lame, those that are stricken by poverty and lack. Oh, Father, the anointing, it indeed breaks the yoke. My God, release it over this nation. Let every bondage over this nation, let every fetter over this nation, let every weight over this nation, let every cloak over this nation be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Anoint people to declare your word. Anoint people to pull people out of the grip of the enemy, out of the weight of the enemy. My God Almighty, of out of the pit of the enemy, Father, let us be a light upon a hill. My God Almighty, let our light so shine that men might see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. For arise and shine, for our light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon us use us in our communities use us in our homes use us in our families let the oil be used let as the oil is released let it be used in the name of Jesus oh father we intercede this afternoon and we say see of those that are perishing my God release this nation from witchcraft Release this nation from wickedness. Release this nation from sorcery. Release this nation from homosexuality. Release this nation, my God Almighty, from wickedness and injustice. Release this nation from iniquity. Release this nation from lawlessness. Release this nation from the absence of the fear of God. Let the fear of God return in this nation. Let the fear of God return in this nation let the fear of God return in this nation oh God let the anointing that breaks the yokes my God almighty let it be released upon your people your word says that you call the disciples my God almighty and you send them out two by two to cast out devils my God almighty and to declare your kingdom it is here send us Librande Bokoshanda use us to deliver those that are on their way to a devil's hell use us to deliver those that are in bondage that are in chains that are in shackles oh father in the name of Jesus pour out your oil upon your people this afternoon pour out your oil my God almighty so that we can demonstrate your power the apostle said I didn't come with eloquent words but I came my God almighty in the power of almighty God, release your power over us this 
there. Release it over us. I say, anoint somebody in Mobile. Anoint somebody in Hanover. Anoint somebody in Westmoreland. Anoint somebody in St. Thomas. Alima. Anoint somebody in St. Catherine. Anoint somebody in Portland. Oh God Almighty. Anoint somebody in St. Anne. Anoint somebody in Marco Shanda that will turn communities upside down. Anoint somebody that will turn parishes upside down. Anoint somebody that will run after you and do the work of him that sent him while it is there for the night comet when no man shall work. Release your anointing. Release your anointing. Lift your hands and receive it. Online, receive it. Oil is being poured out. Oil for service. Oil to do the will of the Father. Oil to work. Receive it online. Receive it in the sanctuary. Oil to turn your communities upside down and then right side up for Jesus. Oil to confront demons. Oil to confront devils. Oil to confront witchcraft workers. Workers of iniquity. Workers of sorcery. Receive oil. Oil to confront fear. Oil to confront the Egyptians. Oil to confront the Philistines. Oil to remind Oil to remind God. Oil confront the Amalekites receive that this day hey, oil is being released, oil for work oil for service oil to preach, oil to prophesy, oil to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover ah, oil to lead us into the presence of God through worship, oil to pray receive the oil this afternoon online receive it receive the oil receive the oil receive the oil receive the oil you need the anointing you need it weighed down in your soul you need the anointing receive it today receive it today receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus there's a poor there's a poor don't make this poor miss you ah! there's a poor he's pouring he's pouring online he's pouring lift your hands and receive it he's pouring he's pouring he's pouring out his spirit he's pouring out his power he's pouring out his grace he's pouring it out this afternoon in the name of Jesus receive the poor my God from Zion I feel Jesus receive the poor and as you receive that poor there's a yoke that's breaking as you oh shut as you receive that poor whatever is over you is breaking everything that wants to wear you down is breaking every demonic yoke that is upon your life it is breaking by virtue of the anointing August anointing receive it let everything that has sought to hinder and block your life receive this August anointing in the mighty name of Jesus may your head never lack oil may your head never lack oil may your head never lack oil let the, uh, let the anointing come upon you let it overflow in your life my God and break the yokes of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Oh, shana na ni esa. Hele le la ni esa. Ya 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 ya. Hele na 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 ni e. Kiana na sa da da da. 
feel virtue here I feel virtue here whatever yoke of sickness that's breaking whatever yoke of sickness over your life that's breaking today that's breaking whatever yoke whether you are aware of the, the yoke or you are unaware of the yoke may that yoke be broken today by virtue of the anointing everything set up to hinder your life Everything set up to block your life. May the anointing break the yoke. Go into your communities. May God use you. Some of you, you're worried about what you got through. Do God work. I said, do God work and everything else will align. Worried about money and worried about this and concerned about this. I said, do the work of him that sent you and every other thing will be aligned. I say, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I say, where you planted plow, where God put your plow, the community He put you in plow, the office that He put you in plow, the, my God, the profession that He has caused you to walk in plow where you're at. In the name of Jesus, there's a work for you to do. Work it. Don't receive this oil in vain. Don't receive this grace in vain. Online, I'm talking to you. Don't receive this grace in vain. Don't receive this power in vain. Don't receive this poor in vain. But use the oil. Because the oil has been released for work. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody clap your hands for the Lord. Clap your hands for Sister Marisol. That was powerful. Come on, come on, clap your hands. For her, we have one more exhortation as we continue in this fasting service. If you're online, if you have not shared as yet, go ahead and share. Call excitement, call crowd. We're here and we are declaring the anointing of God in this month, in this theme. The August anointing. The anointing brings a change. It brings a difference, my God. When you pursue it, when it becomes evident in your life, your life is shifted from one dimension to the next. Why? It breaks the yoke and it causes change and transformation to be evident in your life. Amen. At this time, we're going to welcome our next speaker for this afternoon in our fasting service, Sister Alima Wilkins. Amen. 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 Welcome her as she comes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We honor the Lord. Glory to God for what he's doing in this August anointing. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Rebecca Tai. Nebandio Shataya. I bless him. I bless him. I bless him. You may be seated in the presence of God. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It was indeed a powerful word that Sister Marisol shared. Praise God. Hallelujah. I receive it. My God Almighty, for I will be stepping into a community. My God, there is a community that I will be stepping in come September 1. And the anointing, oh, Roboko Shire, to cause a disturbance to the enemy in that community is upon me. Glory to God. I greet, hallelujah, my pastors. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Come on, put your hands together for our pastors. Praise God. I greet Pastor Dean Smith and uh, Prophetess Sarah Smith. Bless the name of Jesus who has given me this opportunity to share. Praise the name of Jesus. I don't take it for granted. Ah, I take it not for granted. Hallelujah that I've been called to this lectern. And it's not by might, nor is it by power, but it's by the Spirit of the Lord. 
that I stand here. It's by his anointing. Oh, glory to God. Why I'm here and I can release a word. Why I can speak. Oh, hallelujah. For the enemy thought I would have lost my mind years ago. The enemy thought I would have been dead years ago. Hallelujah. But it is the anointing. Labo Shataya. That has caused me to be standing in your presence this morning. Hallelujah. And so I give all glory. I give all honor to God. Hallelujah. Who is the author and the finisher of my faith. Hallelujah. Who is my strong tower. Who is my hiding place. Hey. Chateau, Rabasaya, Hallelujah, who is my defense? Who is my counselor? Hallelujah, who is my all in all? I bless him this afternoon. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So we have been commissioned to speak on the anointing. Hallelujah. And I will be speaking on this same scripture that Sister Marisol. Uh, picked this morning. Praise God. And for a sub theme, I will submit to you that the anointing, the, the yoke, sorry, the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Isaiah 10 verse 27. It was read in our earring and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulders and thy yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Amen somebody. Hallelujah. 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 You see, sometimes we are faced with the pressures of life. Isn't that true? Troubles, troubles on every side. Even our thoughts, our very thoughts, you know, are bombarded by, by the circumstance around us. But listen, this sometimes brings us into a place where we, we lose our enthusiasm to worship. Can I be real in this place? Glory to God. I want you to talk to me. Hallelujah. I want you to talk to me. So sometimes because of what we face, we, 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 become, we, we become so downtrodden. We become so despondent. Come on, somebody. Talk to me. Talk to me. You have to, say, you have to make me know say you're there. Online, let me know that you're there. Just type in the chat and say, yes, sister. A true. I saw it go for true. But there is a burden or a yoke that bears down on us. Sometimes it bears down on the shoulder, on the neck. Listen to me, man. I, 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 when I thought about it, I thought about a weightlifter. And when they take up that heavy bar, they normally put it across the back of their shoulder and their neck. And then something happens to their body. The weight starts to push down on their body and there's a they're trying to resist but the weight sometimes is too heavy some of them they, they train and you know over time they are able to lift a certain weight a certain whatever the weight is they're able to exceed that but there are some who cannot manage it and you see them falling to the ground because that's what the that's 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 what the weight does that is on the shoulder and the neck of an individual. The yoke that has been described, it, 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 it's pointing to the yoke that the oxens, they used to use on the oxens. Amen, somebody. It's, it's like a wooden cross piece that is fastened over the necks of the two animals. I want to submit to you. That if there's a yoke on your neck and on your shoulder, if there's a yoke over your life. If there is a yoke over your life, that which binds you, that which yokes you, controls you. Hello, somebody. I said that which yokes you, controls you. The yoke is synonymous with bondage. It is synonymous with restriction and confinement. So when I looked at that image and I saw that the, 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 the animals, they, 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 they couldn't move to the left or the right. They had to be in a straight line. They were constricted. Mighty God of Daniel. They had to be controlled. They were led by those yokes. You are controlled by the one who yokes you. Hallelujah. That is witchcraft. Thank you for that prophet. 
if somebody has a yoke on you, if there's a situation that has a yoke on you, then that's going to control you. My God Almighty, but we are not beasts of burdens. Oh, glory to God. And it is not the will of God that be, we be weighed down by worry and anxiety. It's not the will of God that we be yoked, my God Almighty, by the enemy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. For he says, take my yoke upon you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Depression and hopelessness have to go. Glory to God. We're shaking it off. We're shaking off that yoke this morning. Hallelujah to God. Even though worry and worship has the same starting root, we can't worry and worship at the same time. My God Almighty, because worrying is a yoke. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We can't worry and worship at the same time. We can wholeheartedly worship God. Or we can have our minds full of anxious thoughts. So we're going to make up in our minds what we're going to be doing when we leave this place this afternoon. Come on somebody. Hallelujah to God. His word reminds us that we should be anxious for nothing. I'm still talking about, hallelujah, the yoke that will be destroyed by the anointing. His word reminds us to be anxious for nothing. But in everything, in prayer and supplication, we must make our requests be known unto God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. The yoke of anxiety is destroyed by the anointing of the Lord. Anybody feeling anxious? Lord of mercy. Me said the enemy would have killed me sometime. Because you know that there's a battle in the mind. Lord Jesus, you're not good enough. Lord God, where you go? This is not for you. You're not qualified enough. And so when you step into a room, or when you step into a certain atmosphere, a spirit of anxiety starts to take over. But thank God for the anointing. Thank God for the anointing. Thank God for the anointing that is able to destroy the yoke of anxiety. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. There are different types of anointing. Glory to God. It comes from one God. <laughs> but there are some different types that we can receive. There is the anointing of fire. Say the anointing of fire. Glory to God. I want the anointing of fire. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah, anoint me with fire, mighty God. For this anointing destroys thorns and barriers in one day. My God Almighty, those things that are commonplace issues, fleshly desires, pride, unforgiveness, the lust of the eye, those things that we battle with. My God Almighty, as we walk through our Christian lives, these thorns and thistles and barriers, we want the anointing of fire to begin to burn out sin and dross. Come on, son. Somebody. Hallelujah to God. I want the anointing of fire. I want the anointing of fire. I don't want to live in unforgiveness. I don't want pride to sit in my stomach. I want the anointing of fire. Glory to God. I want sin and carnal weakness to be burnt out. Glory to God. I want the anointing of the oil. And Prof just spoke to that anointing. Mando Rababasataya. I want the anointing of the oil. My God Almighty, that gives me a spirit of gladness. That that unctionize me to work to go out in the field my god almighty i can't let the oil be wasted i will not allow the oil to be wasted my god almighty so when you are anointed by oil it is for you to go out there my god almighty and affect lord jesus spheres atmospheres and communities to affect your family to affect your workplace my god almighty i need the anointing of oil somebody say i need the anointing of oil. My God, it brings a spirit of gladness. My God Almighty, you ever, people ever wonder, you know, even though you go through some situations, people say, boy, I should always a smile. Oh, oh. No, then, then, then I could have really, Tamra, I go through that. 
So she's still a smile, or she's still a guan, or she's still a push. It's the anointing of oil. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Them can't stop you, Tamaraki. You cannot be stopped. You cannot be hindered. No matter what the enemy puts before you, you carry the anointing of oil. Reba Kataya, hallelujah, the anointing of the spirit, Made Shataya, it teaches us all things. Hey, it causes us to push in the word. Lord have mercy. Ah, Sister Marisala, thank you so much. Me tell you, me take so much notes a while ago. Lord have mercy. Yes, the word, the word, the word, the word. Certainly we will increase in our anointing if we stay in the word. Hallelujah to God. The anointing of the spirit, it fills us with the power of God. Glory to God. And it enables us to the defeat the enemy of our souls. The spirit of the Lord is upon me and that brings the anointing. Glory to God. It is by virtue of the anointing of the spirit of the Lord. It is by virtue of the anointing of the spirit that the Lord hears us from heaven and saves us by the strength of his right hand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When I carry his anointing, I look like him. <laughs> when I carry his anointing, I'm beginning to, yeah, I'm resembling him. So when he looks down and he hears his anointed cry, my God Almighty, he will respond. Glory to God. Is it, it is on account of the anointing that the mercy and faithfulness of God is always with us. Yeah. Yes. It is on account of the anointing why his mercy and his faithfulness is always with Halima. Thank you, Jesus. It is his anointing that makes us higher than the rulers of this earth. <laughs> Glory to God. It is his anointing. My God, it's not, it's, it's not anything good that I have done. But it's because of what he did. Oh, hallelujah. For he went to the cross. My God Almighty, he descended. Oh, glory to God in the depths of the earth. My God Almighty. And then he ascended. Oh, glory to God. He ascended. And his word tells me that I am seated with him. In heavenly places. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. That makes me higher. My God Almighty than principalities and powers. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you for the anointing. Oh, hallelujah. It is his anointing that blesses and causes our family and church to endure. My God. Sis, I, hear, I heard a word over you say, weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. It's the anointing that speaks that word over you. Hallelujah. No matter what they try and set up over this church, no matter what they try to set up over my life, over your life, the anointing, oh glory to God, will cause us to endure. And you know, even this morning I was talking to somebody and she was saying, you know, and it was just so powerful to me that sometimes, you know, the trouble have to take away, you know. Trouble have to take away because let me tell you something. God will fight against some people for we. Yeah. So them have to trouble we for God fight them. Because his word says, I will fight against. I will fight against those who fight against you. Glory to God. So me say, anybody, Sister Tamra here. We feel like say them want to pick war with me. My God Almighty, they better be careful for the anointing. Oh, glory to God is working. Hallelujah to God, the anointing. Mande Shataya, Rabande Kataya will cause Halima to endure. It is his anointing that makes us victorious and more than conquerors. Somebody say amen. amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't take the anointing for granted. My God Almighty, no take it for granted. For Sister Marisol, she said that the anointed can be corrupted. 
And she spoke about Samson. Oh, hallelujah to God and how his anointed was corrupted. But I submit to you that we can also lose the power of the anointing. Hallelujah. For King Saul, he disobeyed the Lord. And he disobeyed the word of the Lord. My God Almighty, we can lose the anointing. In man's book, we can be appointed. So we can be appointed to various offices or given different titles. But in the kingdom of God, it's not necessarily an appointment, but an anointing. So kings were, uh, kings and priests were anointed. Hallelujah. People can affix, my God Almighty, an, 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 an appointment on us. But it, it's always for a specific time. Yeah. It can, be, it can just be for a specific time. Because if you get a job and you are CEO, my God Almighty, of, 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 of that workplace, Sister Tamar Tamara K. I mean, when you reach to a certain age, you retire. So an appointment is for a specific period. Bless the name of Jesus. <laughs> but when you are anointed of God, when you maintain that anointing, hallelujah to God, there's no expiry date. Hallelujah to God, there is no expiry date on the anointing. Hallelujah. If we remain steadfast, I said, if we remain steadfast, if we abound in grace, if we abound in the word, if we are obedient to God, there is no expiry date to this anointing that breaks the yoke. Glory to God. Our anointing, it's not static. But it grows and it increases as we walk closer to the Lord. And we increasingly, as we obey him, as we worship him, as we press into him. We are in a church whose motto is grow and win. My God, that is a system for us to maintain the anointing. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Our anointing manifests itself in different ways. I want you to latch on to that. Hallelujah to God. Because, you know, sometimes, uh, Prof, we look at other persons who, who are operating in their, in, in their level of anointing. Uh, because I could say, Today, boy, I can't speak after Prof speak. I can't speak, I feel timid. But let me tell you something. Somebody's getting what I'm saying today. So I'm not going to despise the level of the anointing that I am, I'm carrying. Glory to God, because I'm growing and I'm winning in the anointing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, glory. Um, I tell you, Prof is an encourager. <laughs> Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'm saying, saints of God, that our anointing manifests in self in different ways. So even as we push into fasting, I don't want you to stop. I don't want you to stop praying and fasting and seeking God for the anointing is building in you. Samson's anointing was manifested in his immense strength. David's anointing was manifested in victory against all odds. In Elijah and Elisha, their anointing was seen in the miracles and provision and resurrection. In Moses, his anointing was manifested in his leadership glory to god hallelujah your anointing the anointing is that is on you is for where you are at amen somebody my god almighty in the apostles of jesus it was manifested in amazing signs and wonders glory to god how does the anointing manifest in you how does it manifest in you hallelujah to god what are some of the benefits of the anointing huh. what are some of the benefits of the anointing the anointing will locate your missing blessings in your life hallelujah if there is a blessing that you were to get my God Almighty, for the enemy comes but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And I'm telling you that he has stolen a lot from some of us. But the anointing will operate in a way that they will be replaced 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. The anointing attracts resources and destiny helpers to you. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. The anointing empowers you and provokes you to act. Glory to God. The anointing advances you and pushes you forward. I said it pushes you forward. The anointing causes, the anointing causes you to become a new man and a new woman. Oh, glory to God. The anointing makes you the head and not the tail. The anointing makes you a commander, a leader. My God Almighty, a lender and not a borrower. Oh, glory to God. The anointing raises you to worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing will cause people to favor you. My God Almighty. Oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank him for the August anointing. I thank him for pulling us into, my God Almighty, this theme. For we need the anointing, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as we step into, my God Almighty, the rest of this year. We need the anointing. The anointing will connect you with people who celebrate God. And our God-fearing, my God Almighty, when the anointing is on you, it begins to repel, my God Almighty, the chaff. There are some people who are not supposed to be in your space. But the anointing, my God, will push them back from you. Glory to God. You know, last night somebody called me and we were talking about something that is to come. And, 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 and the conversation was shifted. And then it was like, you, you know, say so and so and so. Me say me just pull down and turn off me Wi-Fi. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to corrupt the anointing. Echo shatter abasaya. My God Almighty, I said the anointing. My God Almighty will change. My God, your circle. The anointing will allow you to prophesy and decree and it will come to pass. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the anointing gives you the ability to speak the mind of God with a purpose. The anointing will shut me your discernment. The anointing will make you a powerful person. My God Almighty, so when the enemy come with him like a anky panky, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the anointing begins to repel hallelujah hallelujah my God almighty the anointing will protect you hallelujah I love this one the anointing will protect you Jesus the anointing will protect you I said the anointing will protect you oh, my God Jesus Jesus, now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. The anointing will protect you. When you call upon the Lord, the anointing will protect you. Lord of mercy. Boy, me love that one here. Let me tell you why I like this one. Hallelujah. For <laughs> I was promised... Death a lot of times. Wally per time. Oh, mighty God. Let me stay in the camera. My God, I was living in a situation. I was living in a situation. My God Almighty. That when I, 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 was, I was distraught, I was used, I was abused, I was, I was, Lord have mercy. I don't even know myself. Mando Shataya. Lord God Almighty. And every time I said I wanted to leave out of that situation, I was promised death. I was promised death, Sister Tamara K. The man said, if you leave, I'll kill you. Mando Shataya. And so I was in bondage. Lord God Almighty, not for one, not for two, not, but for years. My God Almighty. But the anointing was on me. The anointing of protection. Why was I not a statistic? Why was I not one of those who you read about? My God Almighty, it's just coming to me, prof. My God Almighty, there could have been a gravestone with my name on it. And 
a memory and people say, yeah, I remember that girl. My God Almighty, I was promised death. My God. I was, I, I, my throat was, oh God Almighty. You know how much time becomes close to strangulation? But God protects his anointed. I say God protects his anointed. My God Almighty, I remember one time, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, when the enemy began to work upon the mind, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth of the captor. <laughs> My God Almighty, him say, I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to kill the children. I'm going to kill you. And listen to me now. I'm not talking about an empty promise, you know. I'm not talking about any empty promise. Oh, God Almighty, but God. <laughs> but God, Lord Jesus, I had to call for battalion to help me to pray. I had to cry. I had to cry. Lord God Almighty, for when you cry, when you make a cry, the Lord hears his anointed. Oh, hallelujah to God. Jesus. I thank him. I bless the Lord. I honor your daddy. Hallelujah that you protect your anointed. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All when I knew, I didn't know I was anointed. The Lord was protecting me. The Lord was covering me. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You don't know what is in you. You don't know what is on you. My God Almighty. So I want you to understand. Lord of mercy. That there is a work. That the anointing on you you are my God Almighty is to do glory to God let the anointing cause you to manifest let the anointing cause you to manifest thank you Jesus hallelujah I'm coming down hallelujah to God the anointing it breaks the yoke the anointing it breaks the yoke for the scripture said it shall come to pass it shall come to pass in this time and in this season, my God Almighty, in this day, oh glory to God that the burden will be lifted. Hallelujah. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God for this word. The yoke, whatever your yoke is, whatever seeks to bind you, whatever seeks to restrict you, whatever seeks to want to have you bound, things in the mind, things externally and internally, the yoke will be destroyed because by virtue of the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you see when that thing come to your mind, come on, man. I want your press. I want your press. I want you getting the word. I want you remember what was said at fasting service. I say, you walk, you're not going to have me. You're not going to bind me. You're not going to limit me. My God Almighty, I am God's anointed. And I command you to shatter. I command you to break. La mando koshaya. Mando koshataya. Reke shake it. My God. The yoke is destroyed by virtue of the anointing. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I bless you. I honor you. God, I give you glory. Hallelujah. Can we begin to stand to our feet? Oh, glory to God. And can we just begin to thank him for the anointing? Can we begin to bless him? Lo, shataya, mangu sheketela. Can we begin to bless him? Can we begin to release? Oh, glory to God. Some thank you. Leba shataya. Some thank you, Jesus. My God Almighty. For the anointing that breaks the yoke. For the anointing that is setting us free. For the anointing, my God Almighty. Oh God, uh, that is breaking generational strongholds uh, for the anointing. I'm a shake. Father, I thank you. Oh, glory to God. 
I thank you for the anointing. I thank you for the anointing. I thank you for this lifeline. I thank you for the power. I thank you for this enabling power. My God Almighty, call the anointing. It is your Holy Spirit. Oh God, I thank you. Yeah. Oh God, I thank you. 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 God, I thank you for your enabling power. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you. My God Almighty, that is enough. There's no limit to your anointing. My God Almighty, if I'm steadfast, if I press, oh glory to God, you will pour, you will pour, you will pour your anointing on me. And I bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to hand over to Prof. But. Hey, Shatoya. All right. Hey, Dabas, Shatoya. Can we just move into the altar? Can you just. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you chase, chase and seek after the anointing. Oh, glory to God. Just step out by faith. My God Almighty. Just step out by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Step out by faith. My God Almighty. You know you need more from the Lord. You need you know that you need to dig deeper. You know, Makushataya. Lord God Almighty. Ah, that there is another level that you need. My God Almighty to attain. Lord God Almighty in the uh, in the anointing. But the Lord Leba Shekeda Namasiandoya. He is here. Jesus is here. The anointed one is here. Remande kato shataya. Eh. Riba sataya. De kato shekete nama sataya. Come on, cry out. Cry out. Cry out. No, watch your face. Laba shakataya. You know what you need. You know where you are. Lamande kataya. Namasaya. This is Liberty Hall. This is Liberty Hall. Makata. Begin to cry out. Begin to cry out. Begin to cry out. Somebody connect. Connect with the anointed one. Connect with the anointed one. Ne shato shaya. Nimande kete. Reke tatakatata. Jesus. Oh, Yabaya. Makato. Father, I need the anointing. I need the anointing for the journey. I need the anointing. My God Almighty. But there is a situation that is before me. My God Almighty. And it seems like it is too much. But with your anointing, I will overcome. Every limitation that the situation wants to bring. Every limitation. Every limitation. Every limitation, Lamanda da la Vasaya, let the anointing break, let the anointing, Amaseke, let the anointing, let the anointing, Amase. Let the anointing break. Let the anointing break. Mande kataya. Riba babande kataya. My God. It's not greater than God. It's not greater than God. I say it's not greater than God. Yebo shaya. Yeah, mama masataya. Hey. Hallelujah. Woo. Woo. Yeah, ma kataya. Lebe shataya. Rinda teketeya. Oh God, we pull from the anointed one. We pull, we pull, we pull, we pull. Nama sekete, riba da 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 masaya. Eh, eh, nama sataya. Ushaya, God, we need your anointing. We need your anointing. We need Eshara Rebasai Nimando Shakata 
Rekatushai. My God Almighty. Jesus. Woo. My God. Ah. anointing uh, let the anointing break uh, every you walk uh, a bondage uh, that is in your life uh, let the anointing break uh, every restriction uh, my god almighty uh, or the enemy wants to confine you uh, my god almighty the box uh, mako shataya libo shataya let the anointing break uh, uh, namaseke, uh, my god almighty uh, my god uh, whatever is in your alabaster box uh, my god almighty i said break it break it break it Anything is your abala box box. Hey, Ibando shy. Leku shekataya. Tibandere rebe kata. Re kataya. Mandu shy. My God, my God. Lord God Almighty, some of us have the anointing. My God Almighty, the Lord has deposited the anointing on us, but we keep it in a box. My God Almighty, we keep it boxed in. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, but I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, Break that box this afternoon. My God. And let the fragrance of this anointing begin to change the things in your life. My God Almighty, that keep in your bone. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We worship you. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for your presence. Ah, da, 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 Messiah. Hallelujah. Yeshua Hamashiach, the anointed one. We bless you. We bless you. Yes, Shakatai. Ray Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Rebe Shatai. Hallelujah. Shandele Begozanda la Baha. Zebra Kati Libi Kuribian de Lebegozubrushka Branda. Zebra kata brande lebe kora baga da 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 da. Lebe bebe, come on, continue to reach out. I feel fire. The anointing brings enablement. The anointing brings enablement. The anointing is going to shift your life. Your life has been in a cycle for too long. For over 10 years, says the spirit of the living God. Where the enemy has fought you concerning money, finances, opportunities. The anointing comes upon you to deliver you. The anointing, God wants to use you, Sister Sharon. This is your second prophecy. God wants to use you for today. God wants to use you. Begin to position yourself for the oil. Begin, oh, Sha, begin to position on yourself for the poor for begin to position yourself come 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 here Kamali Kamali begin to position yourself for what God wants to do in your life every yoke upon your mind everything that is going on in your mind in your psyche God is going to release you and God said to tell your daughter that my plans for you are well they are good Makashanda it shall be well with you you shall be blessed you shall eat the fruit of your hands of your labor and you shall be blessed every worry it lifts off you right now every depression hell wants you to flow in that breaks from off your mind he, my God almighty his yoke is easy and his burden is light every demonic yoke we pull it off you we pull it off you 
We pull a yadaba. We pull it off you. Maka shatter. Hope in God. Hope. 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 There's hope in him. You didn't get saved for nothing. You didn't recommit your life for nothing. You didn't walk away from some stuff for nothing. No. There's my God. There's much to gain in the Lord. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the in the morning. God is releasing you from every false burden. The enemy won't put some false burden upon you, but God is going to give you peace in the middle of the storm. God is going to give you peace in the middle of the season that you're in. You will weather the storm, and you will know what Christ is in the vessel. You can smile at every storm. Hope is coming upon you, and every burden hell wants to put upon you. The anointing is lifting that right now. The weight is being lifted right now. The burden is being lifted right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lebron I declare the blessings of the Lord over your life. Every curse over your life from a child from the age of seven that breaks now. By virtue. Ah, by virtue of the anointing the anointing release your life from curses from demonic cycles from demonic oppositions that releases your life today in the name of Jesus lift your hands the anointing Makashanda, release every area of your life every area the enemy has sought to yoke emotionally financially every area bam 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 Shut up. The anointing finds those areas and releases Tajira's life in the shut. shut. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. The anointing of God, the anointing of the Lord. There's a weight coming off your mind. The anointing is lifting the weight off your mind, over your mind. That's being lifted. That's being lifted in the day. Of Jesus, come here, Tamara. Shada la bazumba. Zele bebe bebe. Come here, Tamara. Le brakata ya. Le brada na bade bata bata. Le brada la mandele be koshata. The anointing brings protection. Just praise her. I don't want her fall none at all. The anointing brings protection. The anointing brings provision. The anointing brings peace. Le brada braka shoto. Le baba baba baba. Let the oil flow over you today. Let the oil flow from your head, even in your belly. Let the anointing come upon your unborn child. Rendando shanda. He's pouring it out. Online, he's pouring it out. He's pouring it out. Lebraka Shatada, come here. Come here. He's pouring it out. There's an anointing that you need for the season that you're in. My God Almighty, there are different things that hell wants to project to your life. But this anointing is going to break the yoke. This anointing is going to, my God, this anointing is going to release you from demonic bondage and expectations and weight. The anointing is going to break the yokes of the enemy from over your life in the mighty name of Jesus let the yokes be lifted from your finances let it be lifted from your homes let it be lifted from your marriages let it be lifted from your jobs let the anointing of God come upon your life and release you from the grip of hell in the name of Jesus come here Shake a rabadadada. Zebebebe lift your hands. Lebradada bagarabagasanda. God say, 
is work time. It's work. It's work time. It's it's work time. I'm anointing you for your community. I'm anointing you to bring souls unto me. I'm anointing you for work. I'm anointing you for that which I've called you to do. He said to Jeremiah, you're not only a prophet, but you are a prophet that I have sanctified. My God Almighty for my work. Every office needs the anointing. Every call needs the anointing. Every assignment in the kingdom, it needs the anointing. May the anointing of God flow upon your life in the name of Jesus. Come here. Shake Rabaha. Let baby come here, Marcel. Take over Errol. Come. Let baby lift your hands. Let baby You will not be absent. Some purple holder. I don't want her fall yet. You will not be absent. You will not experience absence of purpose. Absence of not knowing your calling and what God has called you to do. But the anointing swells up in your life. This day in the name of of Jesus. May God cause you to be aware of everything that he has planned and purpose for your life. Everything that you're called to do, that you're assigned to do. God said I've called you. My God Almighty to the young generation. I've called you to pull them out of the web of the enemy. I've called you to pull them out of the bondages of the enemy. I've called you to pull them out of the grip of hell. The anointing comes upon you. The anointing to counsel. The anointing to teach. The anointing to help. My God Almighty wisdom comes upon you in this area. And there is a peace. There's a peace. There's a peace come up, comes upon you this afternoon. That peace, that release of the oil, it's bringing peace to you. It's bringing confidence to you. And you will not slip. My God, you will not fall. You will not regress. You will not be stagnant. Oh, but thou, oh Lord, are a shield for me. The glory and the lifter of my head. My God, no one to him who is able to keep me from falling. You will not fall. I speak to your feet and I anoint it to thee. Lama, loose her life. Loose her life. Everything that wants to grip her life for her life to be in a cycle, for her life to be defeated and in failure. I resist you and I say, leave her. Leave. Come out and let her go. Come out in the name of Jesus. Let go her life right now. You break by your roots in Jesus' mighty name. Woo! For the yoke. It's broken by virtue of the anointing. May God anoint you afresh. May God preserve you. May God cover you. May God hide you. May he cover your head in the day of battle. The anointing. Come here, Lima. The anointing. Anointed to deal with Pharaoh as Mandoko Shadarabaha Leb Shakada Mandoko Sata Lebra Dada Buza Brukata Brakata Lebrakati Pakata Brakatu Lebeko Shanda a gover a governmental anointing comes upon you in the name of Jesus anointed to deal with officials anointed to deal with government representatives anointing for high places in the name of Jesus lift your hands and say God anoint me oh come here come here come here dad and Zele mama ndele bedi ndele beki andele boko sondo Hima na 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 masie ki anana asha God said you're anointed for this don't don't let her fall yet she need every ounce of this
as he overcame you will overcome as he overcame he has said in his word that behold 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 don't let her fall as yet behold I have given you power over all the powers of the enemy behold I have given you power 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 you can't let her fall now power 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 Behold, I've given you power. Says the Spirit of the Living God. Power that comes upon your head. He covers your head. In the day of battle, he covers your mind. The anointing comes upon your head. Everything that hell wants to place upon your mind for where you down. Get the oil. 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 They are more with you than them that are against you. There is greater in you than him that is in the world. You will stand and see the salvation of the Lord. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Turn her over. Loose her. Loose her up and out. Loose her. Loose her in the name of Jesus. Loose her. Come off of her head. Come off of her head. Come off of her head. Come out of her mind. Come out of her mind. I, my God Almighty, I loose her from every mind binding spirit. The anointing breaks every yoke from over her mind. La Bumba Shanda, release her right now. Release her thought life. Release her mind. You will not let her go mad. You will not cause her to overthink. Laba pull you out of her head to the come out by your roots in the name. In the name. In the name of Jesus. Loose her mind today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of God release your life. Let the anointing move over your life. I feel Jesus. There's a fresh pour of his oil. There, oh, there's a fresh pour of his oil. Receive it. Come here. Come here. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Come here. Shaka rabadadadabaha. Zebran de le bego rabagada. Lebra de le bego rabagada. Lebra de la bahada. Lift your hands. Daddy, move over her life. Cause healing and restoration. Let your anointing move through her body. Every challenge, everything that is not operating normal, everything that is out of work, out of place, move over her life right now. <laughs> and let the anointing release her from every demonic bondage and every demonic yoke in the name of Jesus move upon her it's fine, it's fine. move upon her rest upon her overshadow her heal her wait 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> heal her heal her my God Heal her. Heal her. Heal her. Heal her. Heal her. Heal her. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let your fire come upon her life. Transform her life. And let your will be done. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. It is the anointing that indeed breaks the yoke. Come on, somebody just begin to wave your hands to him. The presence of the Lord is so rich in this place. 
and we honor him for what he has released today. My God, I feel heaven. Online, there's a flow of the anointing. And as it flows, there's fire. As it flows, oh Shaka Rabagada, as it flows, there's fire. And as it flows, there's restoration. There's some things that hell has been tampering with and touching. But the anointing is breaking that today. The anointing is releasing that today. Ah, the anointing is setting your life free. I see somebody that I see somebody God is moving upon your, your, your son. God is moving upon your son. Your son has been giving some problems, but I see God moving upon your son and everything over him, that yoke, that bondage, that demonic influence that has been pushing him, that is rele being released from him today in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Just wave your hands to him. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your presence as we honor you and we tell you thanks, Daddy. In Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands for him. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to wrap up. I want you to get your seed, your anointed seed. I want you to grab something that is sacrificial and we're going to honor God in our giving today. As the word has gone forth, as the word has been released, it is the anointing that breaks the yoke. The anointing brings provision, protection, peace. There's an anointing for regions, for countries, for nations. The anointing is vast. And we honor God that he has given us access to this grace, access to this power so that we can stand and overcome all the wiles of the enemy. Get your seed, get your offering lifted up unto God. Online, the information is on your screen. I want you to partake of this. Don't let this moment miss you. There's a order, Branda Bahaya. There's a strong presence of God that's here. And I know this, that when you sow into the anointing, that's when you see deliverance. When we sow into the grace that is currently moving and the grace that has been released, there is change and there is transformation. So I want to challenge you guys to give. If you are even in Jamaica and you can't come here, I want you to give. All the information is on your screen and you can partake of this moment. If you have felt the presence of God and you know that God has ministered to you today, honor him in your giving get your seed lifted up father we bless you we honor you we thank you for this opportunity to give we thank you for this opportunity to sow into the anointing i thank you for change that will come we thank you for deliverance that will come we thank you for protection and peace that will come we thank you for that which you have already released in this service today we celebrate you and we tell you thanks. Whatever yoke, whatever bondage, whatever restriction, whatever hindrance of the enemy, we thank you that you have given us the weapon to overcome. And that is the anointing. We honor you and we tell you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, come as we honor God and worship him through our giving. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear, Woo! Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. Your silence fear, your name is a light that the shadows can't deny. Your name cannot be overcome. Your name is alive, forever lifted up. 
Janique, receive this August anointing. This anointing that you need for when you go back to work. The anointing that you need to bring change and influence for those that God has called you to. Receive that anointing right now in the name of Jesus. There's an anointing that's coming upon your hands tomorrow. I see oil upon your hands and God is pouring a greater level of his anointing upon your hands. You are not seen nothing yet. You owe that brand that you have not seen anything as yet. A greater level of his anointing is coming upon your hands. In Jesus name. Come on lift your hands. We're going home. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cause his face to shine brightly upon you. May the Prince of Peace give you his peace. And may the God of war, war on your behalf. Listen to me. Mark this date, September the 1st. That's what, two weeks from now? That's a Friday. The soaking room, totally free. We're coming here and we're worshiping. God has been ministering to me about it. And we're going to have a night of worship, soaking. And we're going to come. We're going to be online. We're going to be in the sanctuary. So you do have no reason not to come. Amen. And we're going to encounter God. We need him for September. <laughs> we need him for September. We need him for what is ahead. We need him to finish strong. And as we soak, we encounter him. And we cause him to go before us. But the Bible says, send Judah first. No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, man. Send Judah first. So we're going to position ourselves September the 1st for the soaking room. Totally free. Come out. Bring crowd. Call 